Hey guys, it's Jen over at worldofgencraft.com and this is today's card. I was pretty excited to be able to bring this to you. It is using the Carols of Christmas stamp set that is being offered as a demo sign up special along with an essentials kit. Uh, if you'd like more details on it, you can check it out on my website. But let's get started with this card and how I put it together. Oh, so cute. Um, okay, so the silver 1 8 of an inch ribbon is what I used, and I'm just absolutely loving this stuff. I used cherry cobbler and garden green ink pads for this one, along with a few sparkles. The Carols of Christmas stamp set and the, uh, uh, what's it called? Card Front Builder Thinlets Dies. This is actually coming out in the month of August as a kind of a pre-order for the new catalog that's coming out in September. So be on the lookout for this. And if you want to get this ahead of time, it'll come in your demonstrator sign up. Just saying. Okay, enough. <laughs> um, Stitch Shapes Framelits. I use the circle from that and the layering circles framelits as well. And I did use the triple banner punch or banner triple punch or whatever this is. What It's a banner punch. So I use that. And for supplies, I actually, look at this, I have two different kits cut out and I would love to send someone this kit. So if you leave your name uh, and a comment over on my website, worldofgencraft.com. I will choose a winner tomorrow, which will be July 26th, and I will send you this pre-cut kit. You'll have everything you need except for the stamped image to create the card. For supplies for this card, this is actually, there's quite a bit of cardstock in this one. I just couldn't help myself with the layering. Garden green cardstock, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half for your base. A two by four and three quarter for the banner. Whisper white is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. A two and seven eighths inch stitched circle. And then you'll need a scrap to stamp out your flowers and your leaves. Cherry cobbler cardstock is four by five and a quarter, and you'll need a three inch scalloped circle. And then the B Mary DSP, which is in the current catalog, is uh, three and uh, three and seven eighths by I can't read my writing by three and a half, and three and seven eighths by one and a half. So I thought we would get started first on our stamping and then we're going to use the Big Shot to cut it all out. So I have already pre-stamped a good majority of this and stuck it on my little uh, glue dots. But I wanted to show you um, the flower and how the dye that goes with it, um, I kind of had to search for it for a minute, but it's kind of cool because it's part of another dye. and. Uh, so let's, we'll just stamp this out and then we're going to stamp out our piece on earth in the garden green and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this out in the center so we can cut it out. And I find that I like to stamp first and then cut out because sometimes I can't always get that centered in there. I must be spatially uh, special. <laughs> so, okay, let me clear all this out and we're going to need these two dies and then our big shot. So the cool thing about this little flower is it comes in the center of this die and you actually get two of these dies. The tricky part is kind of lining it up so it might take a second to figure out exactly how this little flower lines up in here well okay so a second was all I needed so I'm going to run this through and then we're just going to take this off for a second there's going to be little scraps left over and let's go ahead and cut out our piece on earth get this off of the hair All right, so now we have these two pieces all cut out and ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw this flower on our little roll here. So we have easy access to it when we start putting it all together, which let's go ahead and start doing that now. So I'll bring my other card back into the picture here. 
um, kind of so I have a, an idea of how to do this. So I started with this little leaf here and kind of put it up at an angle kind of at the edge and then I'm going to layer this flower on top of it and then layer the other flower on top of that and then we're going to throw this little leaf set kind of underneath of here coming down off of the circle a bit and then I'm going to go ahead and layer the stuff up at the top too. All right so this piece is done so let's bring in the rest of the card and start doing all of our wonderful layering. The first layer that we are going to put on is going to be our Whisper White And for this card, I went ahead and left just the eighth of an inch all the way around. I'm really loving this, uh, this width um, for my layers. Just kind of a nice thin layer for it. And this is just going to get layered right on top of that. With just that little peak of white coming through. And let's see. Let me bring my my card. I always end up setting it aside. So this one, this is where our punch is going to come in handy. So we're just going to load it into here and it's a little bit bigger than what the little slot allows for just kind of barely fits in there but it works and I'm going to bring this down so I just barely see the edges of my banner and there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's throw the DSP on. And then we're going to put this top piece on and then the bottom piece is just going to get put down here at the bottom and we're going to have a little tiny about eighth of an inch uh, opening in between both of them. So you just want to try and get these centered on as, as best as you can so you have that uh, even edge going all the way around. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to put on my banner. And I'm going to leave this open just for now because we're going to wrap our ribbon around the edges. And this is just going to get put maybe about a quarter of an inch from the right or from the left hand side. And um, and what? And then we're going to wrap our ribbon. Oh, and then it's going to be even at the top with this cherry cobbler. So the ribbon, I went ahead and just put a uh, glue dot. Um, if I can figure out where I put them. Okay, so I'm just going to put a glue dot on this end and then I'm going to wrap it under and do the same on the other side. All right, so making sure that your um, ribbon is kind of even with this little open spot here and then I went ahead and just put a couple more glue dots on the ends here just to hold that down. And then we're going to go ahead and tie just a little tiny bow to put on top of it. And this is going to get adhered with another little glue dot. And we're just going to put this kind of off centered here on the side. Then let's go ahead and get our scalloped circle on there. So we're just going to put a little adhesive on here and stick it on top. And then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to pop up the whole image. And this is going to go, um, you know, kind of centered in your garden green. And then you're going to have maybe a quarter of an inch on either side here. And the last thing that we are going to do is we're going to throw on a few sparkles onto the center of each of these flowers, which I think it just kind of ends up completing the whole entire card. So that is it no wink of Stella are you proud of me and no embossing can you believe that oh my goodness what is wrong with me ah, so this is it that is our finished card I just really love the way those turned out um, so if you're still hanging on with me I'm not going to show you the whole thing but this is what I'm working on this week so the next three videos after this are all going to feature the uh, carols of Christmas. So if, if you uh, would like, tune in with me next time and you'll see another card using the set. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like, I will have 
printable dimensions on my website, worldofgencraft.com. And don't forget, if you would like to be entered into my little drawing for this kit to be sent to you, uh, head over there and leave a comment. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day, and I will got, uh, blah, blah, sorry. <laughs> I might have to delete that out. I'll talk to you later. Bye.